Have you ever seen one of these mini buffets before? Aren't they so cool? I finally got my hands on one, so of course, I had to make it over. First, I removed all of the stain from the legs. This was not the funnest or the easiest process, but it was totally worth it to make those legs shine again. So working one leg at a time, I brushed a thick layer of citrus strip all over, then I wrapped it in plastic to keep the citrus strip from drying out. Then I let the citrus strip eat away at the old finish for at least eight hours. When I came back, I used some mineral spirits and steel wool to scrub away the old finish. These legs in particular were a pain though, because someone at some point had painted them and then stained over the paint and there was a thick top coat as well. Typically, if it's just the stain and top coat, the scrubbing process is so much easier. Anyway, it took an hour to scrub one leg down completely, and after both were completely stripped, I let them dry for a couple of days. Then I sanded them lightly to remove what I had missed before and to finish getting off any residue that was left behind. But aren't they so pretty now? Then I worked on the rest of the buffet. I cleaned it and that's when I saw that the veneer on the one side was really damaged. So I removed the veneer with my scraper and the hot iron and wet towel method. Then I filled in the wood grain in that area with some thinned out spackling and sanded everything smooth. Then I vacuumed up the dust and used a tack cloth to make sure all of the dust was gone. I primed it with two coats of clear shellac to make sure I didn't get any bleed through stains coming through my paint. And then the next day, I was ready for paint. This time I tried a new to me paint, bare chalk paint in the color Truly Olive. I thinned it out with some water and put it in my paint sprayer and it sprayed beautifully. The back of the door had some bleed through stains though, so I shellacked that again, and then I finished painting everything. Before I top coated it, I distressed all of the edges and smoothed out the paint with a fine grit foam pad. To top coat, I used Bare Wax in their wax brush. And I used Dark Wax on the legs to stain them. And here's what it looks like now. I love the contrast of the legs and the olive green paint and I would definitely use this bare chalk paint again. Have you tried bare chalk paint before? 